Where are we? Texas. Huh? I said Texas. She says what? I said Texas. She says what? They got big long roads out there. Warm winds blowing. It's 800 miles wide and nearly a thousand deep. It's been Spanish, Mexican, and it's even been an independent nation for 10 years. Although now part of America, it's constitutionally allowed to secede and divide into five separate states. JFK was shot here. It's got cowboys, oil, armadillos, and rattlers. Texas, all welcome in Native American Caddo. Texas to Texas. Woo! -hoo! Some of the first things Johnny Foreigner notices when he lands on planet Texas are the ubiquitous flags. Familiar American colours, yes, but with a distinct lack of stars. For most proud Texans who want to remember their glorious history, one's enough in the Lone Star State. Of every Texan city, none gives partisans more a sense of deep-rooted self-confidence than leafy, laid-back San Antonio. If you're coming to Texas, you really must come to this place if you want to understand the Texan independence struggle. This is the symbol of Texan ID, the symbol of Texan pride, and it's not just the John Wayne flop. The building behind me is the Alamo. Or what's left of it, anyway? It was here that Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie and 187 others perished fighting 5,000 Mexican troops in a bid for Texan autonomy. Although a disaster in military terms, Texas eventually got what it wanted with General Houston. But the fragile republic only lasted for a decade when, beset by problems, it finally accepted annexation to America in 1845. For reasons other than its intended purpose, the Alamo is probably the most famous of a string of Catholic missions built along the San Antonio River in the 18th century. However, it's really important to check out some of those less visited missions, such as this one behind me, the San Jose mission, because they're great. <laughs> Two those right? Yeah. Of course, we've gravitated towards the tourist hellhole known as River Walk. It's actually very nice in the day. At night, it turns into one big soupy swamp of restauranteurs. Anyway, we're at a Tex-Mex place, which isn't surprising because 56% of San Antonio are, in fact, Hispanic. And uh, strangely enough, none of them seem to be at this restaurant. Anyway, what have we got here? We've got a fajita. What you do is you stuff all your stuff in this. Um, you take your rice, you take your refried beans, whatever they are, which are very nice actually, strange colour though. You take your salad of kind of tomato and yoghurt and your green guacamole, never forget that. And you stick it with your grilled fried chicken, like that, a bit like Beijing duck. And you take a munch. Now, I like fajita because it's only $10. It's a bit like an Indian tali because you get a bit of everything and you don't have to spend much. It also comes in a beef option. Interesting to hear what your average Iranian taxi driver makes of it all. Why did you pick here? Well, because when I came here for uh, pilot training... Pilot uh, training? Yes, 27 years ago. This was the only city that I landed first in the United States. Oh. And, uh, you stayed? It, it became home, yeah. The majority of Americans don't like foreigners. Really? And uh, 
why, the reason, I don't know. It's just being prejudiced, that's all I can say. They call us camel jockeys, no good. They call me Arabian, I'm not Arabian. Bottom line, they say, this is not your country. And you don't, if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. It's, it's tough, it's not easy. It's mm -hmm. not easy to live in the United States. Maybe it's easier out of the bigger towns. The man travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it. It's kind of like here. Nobody around here wants to go anywhere. They just stay here because this is where it's at. Here was small cow town Bandera, somewhere near San Antonio, the place, according to local law, where the misfits fit. And I knew I didn't fit, so I came, I saw, I did a little shopping. Can I try some on? Mm -hmm. Try okay. This is an eight. Right. She's a big hearted woman, she shows us treat me right. They will, they should. Should be <coughs> snug in the instep, loose in the heel. See the sign up there? Snug in the instep, loose in the heel. Mm -hmm. Are they hurting? A little bit. Where? Here. Okay, because they're tight. Let's get a hat. She made me shake and quiver from her head down to my toe. You got any with the, like a slightly uh <laughs> a bit big. No, it's like I it's... love it. My baby is so sweet, so generous, so kind. Oh guys, talk to him. We're trying. Stop whinging. Haven't you got one, you know, similar to it? This is what people wear. I like him in that. Oh, it's too wide, isn't it? Yeah, it's the real not. thing. Oh, but I'm it's too the real short. Thing. The real I'm... thing. You know, like Coke. Dan, you've got to have the real, the real thing. thing. Transformed into a dude in only 25 minutes, it was all coming together. Dudes are somebody that's not cowboy or all dudied up. They get in their clothes and then you have to teach them how to ride horses, all that kind of stuff. It had to be a dude ranch then. I'm worried. Why are you worried? They're very big horses, aren't they? Very big. He's looking at me funny. That's a long way up. There you go. There you go, cowboy. I can't reach the other stirrup. There you go. How do I steer? Okay. Got a wheel for me? I got a wheel for you. This is your steering wheel and your brakes. What do you do? You pull the brake. Not hard, but just kind of pull towards you and tell him, whoa. Whoa. Bandera in South Central Texas is cowboy country, and we're on a kind of holiday ranch known as a dude ranch. Why? Because we're all dudes. They're kind of expensive, but they're great fun. Lots of activities, like horse riding. Go, goof. Goofy, goofy, goofy. <laughs> Move, not the 60. Oi. <laughs> do cowboys really do this? Goofy old boy, we'll get you some Alpin when we get in. Now, this is what I call therapeutic. Trouble is, I've got a horse that hasn't had breakfast. Now I know how Henry VIII felt. He probably felt like relaxing in front of a cheesy cowboy show every time. Seems to be no real point in doing something outdoorsy indoors when the great outdoors is just outside and there's a cowboy on every corner. And there really is in Texas. Mitch Chisholm runs a western wear shop. The cowboy was actually uh, a Mexican vaquero, and they were the originators of the cowboys. And then as it came to America, or Texas, which was old Mexico, it turned into the American version of what a cowboy is today. The boots were, were Mexican made, the big uh, hats came from the sombreros. Is it a fashion thing now? It is definitely a fashion statement, really. What we're getting back to now is our true heritage, which is the taller boots, the bigger hats, the more 1800s period clothing versus the more modern 
uh, monogrammed uh, brocade shirts and <clears throat> plastic hats. My hat's not plastic. Well, uh, you know, close. What would you say? I'd say it's plastic, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice uh, straw look. But it's it's not straw. No, it's really not actually. She told me it was straw. Yeah, you got to get back to the old true beaver hats. This is like a seven X uh, beaver. How much would that cost? This here is about a two hundred and fifty dollar hat. Two hundred and fifty dollars for a beaver skin hat. Custom made. Yeah, that's, that's right. Quite a lot, isn't it? Well, it's quite a hat, isn't it? See, it's a factory board that one. Mm, well, yes, you know, off the peg, I must admit. This is a computer board. Computer? Would you say that, you know, because Mexicans really, they first started wearing these boots, didn't they? The gauchos and stuff. Would mm -hmm. you say that uh, you've got a better, longer tradition of making them and you're better at it than the Americans? <laughs> what do you think? You can yeah. say, don't worry. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes, leather working is big business around these parts. It can mean a scary price, but these custom made saddles molded to the rider's own unique proportions will probably last longer than the cowboy on it and the animal under it. Rope horse trainers like Logan Adams rely on that durability. Wow, after all that food, he's pretty good, isn't he? What we're watching, folks, is do-it-yourself rodeo in someone's back garden. Hope you like it. Why would it, why would it want to get into such a small area? Yeah. I mean, why? I wouldn't. Oh! <laughs> <sighs> Apparently, I'm just about to have my uncoordinated flailing limbs tamed. Don't these people know I got thrown out of aerobics for making people laugh? These are the regulars here in Bandera. Hello. Hello. I'm Howard. <laughs> Hi, Howard. Yeah. I'm Dan. I'm Ada. 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 Let me show you these steps right quick first. OK. We'd like to send this song okay. out to two. Oh, Go. sorry about the hat And there. we'll catch it slow. We'll catch it slow. One. OK. OK? All right. Yeah, maybe something Step like together. Step. Walk. Step together, step, walk. Step together, step, walk. Oh, I'm good. sorry. Step, step together, together, step, walk. It's a good dance for a walk. It's a good dance for if you drank too much, yes, isn't it? That's right. Step, right. walk. Yeah. Because you, you just step. Yeah. Yeah. Your feet just do the walking, don't that's they? Right. You don't have to think properly. Together, step, and walk. See, that's how you keep from getting drunk. I, I think I'm better when I'm drunk. <laughs> Yeah. I have had a few, haven't I? Yeah. I'm just saying, your tongue is blue. Do you come here all the time? I own the place. Oh, you own, own the, the place. place. <laughs> oh, this is just Wednesday night, and this is just one dance hall. We're going to take you to two more before the evening's finished. Oh, no. How many people live here? 877. And it's a Wednesday night? Yes. Every night but Monday and Tuesday we're out doing this. Trust us to arrive during the rest of the week. At least learning to dance was a good wholesome alternative to drinking beer. Lone Star Light. Uh, of course. Same Same for you, Steve. Lone Star Light. OK. Serving it all night, of course, was another. Dollar and a half, ma'am! What's that, margarita? We say cheers in England. Cheers. 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 Say cheers. 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 Good. Just after the American Civil War, the thousands of unbranded longhorn cattle roamed free on the plains of Texas. It was a time of roundups and cattle drives. Today, there aren't many of them left, but Maud Marks carries on this proud Texan tradition of breeding.